And now let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Phoenix Sun. At power forward, Jay Carter. At the other forward, Mikkel Bridges. At center, DeAndre Ayton. At shooting guard, Devin Booker. At the other guard, Chris Paul. The head coach of the visiting team is Monty Williams. Reporting courtside. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Mikkel Bridges is a big part of the Suns' growth into a powerhouse. Coach Monty Williams said of his two-way swing man, I believe he has every intangible, talent and quality to be a glue guy in that starting lineup. Mikkel has an edge to him. Guys respect the heck out of him because he competes every day. Kevin, I compete every time you throw it down to me. <laughs> you do. And you're a great competitor. DA, it is an honor to be on this broadcast with you each and every game. And certainly, Bridges one to watch. DA, thanks. Looking now at the lineup for both teams tonight, some names out of action. And some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? So, the opening lineup for the Suns. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Aiton in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Warriors, Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Thompson is out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the center, filling out the middle. the Suns to start out. Paul with the ball. The pass to Ayton. Over Wiggins. And it's Ayton missing. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. All sorts of time, and that one, good. Well, the effectiveness in between the perimeter and the basket, Curry relishes the opportunities he gets in mid-range. Now here's Booker. Paul outside. Crowder, the pass to Paul. 
Back at six, poked away, stolen by Thompson. Curry against Paul, three-pointer, and it's Stephen Curry with a three. Curry's got five points so far. My goodness, the pure shooting stroke of Steph Curry. It's the envy of every NBA player. All finds Booker. Wiggins with some nice deep. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. To the inside. And he drops in the way up off the glass. This guy can do it anytime he wants. Andrew Wiggins with broad shoulders to carry the load there. And what a year for Andrew Wiggins and his offense. The outside shot took some huge leaps forward. I think, as importantly, his efficiency went through the roof. This guy seemed more comfortable playing as a second option. Less pressure allowed him to thrive. Well, the big man flashing his touch. DeAndre Ayton makes it look easy. Curry kicks to Thompson. Off target with his three. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Paul surveying the floor. Pass to Book. Passes to Crowder. Here's the feed to Ayton. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. How about the power from DeAndre Ayton on that finish right through the contact? They double team Curry. Thompson for the triple. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Now here's Booker, guarded by Poole. They grab their own miss. Here's Ayton. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Ayton's got six. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Ayton's timing excellent. Curry outside. And another three for Golden State. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Suns trail by seven. From 12 feet out, that's good on the jump shot. Well, Paul can be consistent from that part of the floor. Defenses should know you can't allow his mid-range game to start cooking. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. Pass to Poole. Thompson for three. Traps in the tray. He has six. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. In the corner, it's Bridges. To the paint. Here's Booker, lays it up and banks it in. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges, so willing to give it up to an open guy. Curry outside. Again, Curry missing. For Phoenix, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Oh, that's blocked. And they get it back. Bridges misses. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Thompson outside. Green breaking loose. Booker pulls it in. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Green finds Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. Suns trail by six. Inside, here's Ayton, and Ayton throws it down. And right there, you see Devin Booker's feel for the game. This guy knows exactly when to give it up. Here's Poole. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. And the three ball is good. Well, in catch and shoot opportunities, you've got to have good feet and pre shot preparation. Mikhail Bridges, yes, sir. It's Curry outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Snatched up. 
The kick out to Crowder from downtown. Another three for Jay Phoenix. Crowder. We know this. Three Jay points. Crowder is an effective shooter. Someone who can shoot the three well. You've got to get into his space. They need this. The shot by Curry. No good. Now here's Paul. Now the dish to Bridges. Over Thompson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Thompson. Well, they're playing with fire, putting Mikael Bridges on the free throw line. This guy's so comfortable at the charity stripe. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Curry from deep three-point lane. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. The Suns lead by four. Live from Chase Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And regarded as one of the best leaders in the game today. With anything, uh, whether it's business, work, relationships, whatever, it's communication. And I think that's something that we're doing an amazing job of right now. And that's communicating, talking through things, and making sure, even when it gets tough, that we continue to communicate. This younger team, it's got to be easier for Chris Paul to lead as that elder statesman. Yeah, at times in the past, veteran teammates didn't appreciate his constant input. Credit these younger guys, though, for soaking it in. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Phoenix what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second chance opportunities. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. Payne out there with Landry Shamit. Then it's Johnson and there's JaVale McGee. And it's Craig in at the three slot. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Curry passes to Payton. Outside Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Looney. That shot is off. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Here's Shamit. Porter with a block. Well, with that seven foot one wingspan for Otto Porter, he can provide some shot blocking. Here's Curry with the three. Buries it from three point range. Curry's got 11 points. He nailed two from distance in the opening period. Now gets this one. Payne dishes to McGee, and he drops it in from the low post. And the Suns lead by five. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. Curry kicks to Payton, and there's the pass to Porter. Here's Curry. From outside the arc, no good that time. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. That one falls. Landry now it's a seven-point Suns lead. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. A three ball. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Amazing to think some questioned if Curry could lead on his own, isn't it, Doris? He has answered the critics quickly. Oh, no, one 62-point outburst showed how dominant he is. After missing almost all of 2020, some began to doubt Mr. Curry. I don't think anyone is going to make that mistake again. Their third three-pointer in a row. Phoenix leading by three. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. All right, Greg, you're a lefty. You're on the call tonight. Here we are at courtside. Who do you think is the best left-handed player currently in the NBA? Ladies and gentlemen, no. it's no. the beer. James Harden, Kevin, no question. But Zion's going to be carrying that torch for us lefties going forward. I have no doubt he'll make us proud. Maya is checked in for Kevon Looney. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. 
Alpine. Craig kicks to Shannon. Down to five on the shot clock. Payne gets a wide open look. No good from outside. Warriors trail by three. And Curry has it in the corner. And another three for Golden State. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. For Phoenix, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. Pass to McGee. Johnson outside. Back to Payne. Trying to get open is Johnson. And there's Payne. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Payne's got six points. Golden State's gone four of six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Curry finds Payton. Back to Curry. From deep. Another three for Golden State. How about the last five made shots? Have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Shamit up top, covered by Peyton. Shamit the pass to Craig. Passes it to Payne. Here's the three. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Peyton passes to Curry. One forty-three left in the first half of basketball. Another miss by Curry. Phoenix has gone three or four from long range in the game. Craig against Porter. Payne kicks to Craig. Pass to Johnson. The three. Another three for Phoenix. Timeout, timeout. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. And the Warriors decide to take their first timeout here. Everything's not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Green is checked in for Kaminga. Wiggins comes in for Porter. Thompson is checked in for Payton. And Poole's up in for Curry. And that one's good, Adrian. He's got 10. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. The three from Poole. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Here's Paul. Here's Crowder. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, make no mistake, Crowder has got great strength inside. The defense can get physical. It doesn't matter. Jay Crowder. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's 42 seconds left in the second quarter. Poole with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Poole no good. Phoenix leading by three. Outer dishes to Paul. Bridges outside. Back to Paul. Here's Aiton. Draymond Green pulls it in. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's Thompson. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. You simply cannot relax when you're playing Clay Thompson. The catch and shoot, the release, too quick. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. A tremendous start for DeAndre Ayton. He had 10 points and two rebounds. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? Great work on the glass so far. They're hustling and showing more desire than boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's the recipe for success. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? At this point, you feel like they have to attack inside and make the offense. Looks like they're not even trying to make moves. You ask me, they're leaving food on the table down there. Kenny. 
And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Curry has been sensational. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Wiggins is out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Green in at the pivot, manning the middle. That's the Warriors' five. And something we've seen the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. To the middle, here's Bridges. Good. And a nice assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. Such a smart offensive player. Mikel Bridges assertive and focused when he gets this close. Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. And amazing to even consider using a box in one of the NBA. Isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it did work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Suns trail by three. Bridges, no one around him. Trains the three-pointer. Bridges has got five points now this quarter. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Here's Curry with the three. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. And there's it, and that's good on the assist by Booker. Aiton's got 12 in the game. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Curry outside. Connects again from distance. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. But Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through season two. The results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. DA, thank you. Phoenix calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Poole. And for the Suns, JaVale McGee's checked in for eight. Johnson comes in for Crowder. And it's Payne in for Paul. Curry outside. The shot comes out. And Phoenix the other way now. Booker outside. Back to Payne. Johnson outside. He kicks to Bridges. Booker outside. Four on the shot clock. For the lead. And it's Looney with the rebound. The pass to Thompson. Now, here's Kaminga, guarded by McGee, shoots the three, and it's Stephen Curry with a three. Curry's got 41. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens Cameron up Johnson. major options at the offensive end. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. It's Curry outside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Suns trail by three. 
and here's Payne. He's got nine. Two minutes. McGee, the pass to Bridges. Two and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. Well, we all know this young man came out of college, highly decorated, having won two national championships. And in the NBA, Mikhail Bridges has shown those were not flukes. This guy's got big time talent. The Warriors have gone six or nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. It's Curry outside. That one doesn't drop. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. A two-point game. Down low for the tie. It's good. This game is all even. Payne's got 11 points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots at close range. Curry gets the bucket. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Free throw line jump shot. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Booker's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, one of his many attributes, guys. Booker is hard to stay with when he's pulling up off the dribble. It's three outside. And another three for Golden State. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. To the inside. Here's McGee. Nice yet again. A shot missing. And Golden State will come the other way. Curry outside. There's JaVel McGee with the rebound. McGee's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Bridges outside. Shoots over Curry. McGee's shot is off. Warriors leading by four. Outside Curry. And good! There's another. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And here's Booker from the arc. No good that time. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Warriors ahead, up by seven. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. Mikel Bridges out there with Paul, and it's Johnson in at the three. Bielitsa against Aiton. Quarter outside. Rebound by the Suns. Crowder's got rebound number five here tonight. Johnson, the Warriors, pull it in. Porter with it. Pass to Bialitz. Green in the post. He's against Crowder. And Bialitz kicks to Porter. And it's off from three-point range. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And he throws it down. Well, this guy is so good in transition situations. DeAndre Ayton runs the floor like a deer. And here's Poole for three. Knocks down the three ball. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Ball outside. 
fires high post. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. There is a relentlessness to what Chris Paul does. This guy works at his own pace, wears you out searching for his shot. Cool, no good. Suns trail by four. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. Good to see a player going all out into the games this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense, have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. Some changes for Golden State. Wiggins comes in for Bielitsa, and Curry subbed in for Gary Payton. And the Suns also making a change. Andre Shamit checked in for Johnson. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. And he's pushing them to empty the tank. He said, I know you're tired and it's been a tough game, but we can't hold back. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I want you full speed, guys. Thanks, David. And a deep three from Curry. And again for three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. Curry against Paul. Another one falls for Phoenix. Boy, I love Chris Paul's ability to work on the interior. Tenacious, crafty, few players his size have done it better. Yet another bucket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Shamit the pass to Paul. Back to Shamit. The Suns need to get a shot off. Paul with the three. Warriors with the rebound. Wiggins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Let's it go. Curry's shot is off. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Crowder kicks to Bridges. To the middle. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And it's 13 points for Mikael Bridges. Timeout called the Warriors. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like it. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Chris Paul. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Suns trailing. Oh, Aiton in position. Stolen by Thompson. Cool with it. Now guarded by Booker. Here's Curry. Nice pass. Right into the rack. Perfectly for the lane. Curry's got 58. One of the best ever at embracing big moments. Step up to the challenge. Here's Paul. Andrew Wiggins grabs the ball. Wiggins has got his sixth rebound on the night. Curry finds Wiggins. Back to Curry. Takes the three. A shot off that time. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Here's Paul. Headshot off. Good D by Thompson. Curry against Bridges. Fires the three. And again. Make that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Curry against Paul. Good D by Thompson. Warriors leading by seven. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by DeAndre Eaton. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. He dishes it to Paul. Looking to get back on track here. Curry with the defensive effort. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Good on the three-point shot. Curry's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. They 
made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point it looks insurmountable. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry's got the ball. Can't connect from long distance. And it's Phoenix's ball. Ball outside. For three, Bridges. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Well, the length and skill set is a tremendous combination for Mikhail Bridges. Starting to cook a little bit. Here's Curry with the three. The shot, no good. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Stefan. Even for you, rare form tonight. How do you do that? A lot of work, guys bless me with a lot of talents, and uh, I just have a lot of confidence. My teammates have confidence in me, so for me to just continue to play hard, stretch my imagination, what I can do, and just uh, let it flow. There were no limits tonight, man. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of